NBC set to see another minimum wage hike in June from the current $16.75 to $17.40 per hour. It's not that much increase because it's everything else is rising up as well, right? But it does help a lot. This 65 cent increase equates to around five extra dollars for minimum wage workers. But is this hike enough to keep those workers afloat in Metro Vancouver? This is obviously good news. Uh, increases to the minimum wage are always a good thing uh, for workers who are really struggling to get by. But the reality is that there's still an eight dollar gap between the minimum wage and the living wage, which is what it costs to actually get by. The current living wage in Vancouver, calculated to cover essential services like food, rent, and Child care is $25.68 an hour. The proposed wage would still leave minimum wage workers around $15,000 behind. Do they pay for gas this week? Do they pay for groceries this week? Um, do they cut back on their heating? Do they cut back on their food? How do they, how do they manage to get by? Um, and it's difficult decisions that low-wage workers are having to make every single day. So everything's just super expensive. So living wage at least needs to match the living wage for people to live, but obviously that causes different issues, different uh, economic concerns, right? I think they should increase a little more at least they should make it 19 to 20 dollars an hour i think if that then it's really helpful for me personally in the meantime employers worry that this increase will further offset their costs of doing business this is yet another unexpected cost in the face of so many different economic pressures that businesses are facing inflation is always uncertain uh, so how can you tie a minimum wage increase to inflation but living Wages for Families BC argues that employers can also benefit from paying employees a living wage. When businesses pay a living wage, it actually benefits businesses too. Um, it reduces staff turnover, it helps for retention, but actually the vast majority of minimum wage workers in the province are working for large multinational companies that can definitely afford these pay increases. Even before this increase, BC had the highest minimum wage of Canadian provinces, followed by Ontario with $16.55 per hour. In Vancouver, Cecilia Hua, City News.